I get asked all the time, is nutrition that important other than the obvious, you know, it causes you to gain weight, you can't lose weight, you're bloated all, all the time. And, and the, the answer is yes. Yes, nutrition can be used, I mean, it, it has to be used as fuel for your body. So those of you that are starving yourselves, you're always going to feel the way you do. Those of you that are gorging on unhealthy foods, you're always going to feel bad until you change that. You know, every single thing that we consume into our bodies affects it in one way or another. It can either affect it positively or it can affect it negatively. And learning what to choose is key to feeling better. It's key to weight loss. Everybody's just a little different. You know, I have, um, my daughter is able to do the keto diet, the ketogenic diet, and um, I cannot do that. And my body does not like that. For her, it's made her to be able to, she has a rare disease, and it's made it to where she can um, actually eat food. So, you know, and I've seen some people that have done um, the Atkins diet or some of the other fad diets that are out there, and they're able to do it, but others aren't. I've seen, um, through my career, I've seen clients that were able to eat carbs or eat in just portion sizes and lose weight, but they don't feel 100%. So um, I, I really highly suggest that you stop thinking, what am I having to give up whenever I change my diet? Um, think about what you're gaining. You're gaining energy, you're gaining a life that you're going to be so proud of. And food doesn't rule us, we are in charge of it. You know, just because you go to a social event doesn't mean you have to eat the whole cake, doesn't mean you have to eat all of the ice cream. Um, it's all in moderation, but in order to feel better, you've got to stop eating the processed crap. You've got to stop eating all of the, the breads and the starches. You have got to take control. Stop drinking your pop. Do you know what that pop does to you on the inside? Google it. There's a, a gazillion articles out there on it. Nutrition is the number one important thing to feeling healthy. You want to get off medications. If, if you want to lower your medications, if you want to not have high blood pressure anymore, if you want to get your diabetes under control or even get rid of type 2 diabetes, get your nutrition in, in check. Eat your lean meats. Eat your veggies. I know you don't like them. A lot of people don't like veggies. Learn to like them. It's just like work. Not everybody likes to work, but we have to do it. We've learned how to like to work. We may have our days, and we may struggle every morning to get out of bed to do it. But we do it. It's a fact of life. It's the same thing. Eat your meat. Eat your veg veggies. Eat your fruit. Eat all natural fruit. It's good for you. Drink your water. Your body has to have water to function. Without any water, your body is not going to be running properly. You're not going to feel good and you're going to always suffer with health issues. And you know, I know that's kind of hard to hear and I know people think I'm crazy, but nutrition is 100% the goal that you need to make. Your whole idea of being healthy, losing weight, um, all of that, you know, it all stems from that. Did you know that certain forms of food like gluten that you eat can affect your mood? It can cause PMS, it can cause ADHD, it can cause anxiety, it can cause depression, it can cause bloat, it can cause you to not lose weight. And it's just a substance that's, it's a processed substance that nobody needs. So, you know, when it comes to nutrition, think of it as your health plan. Instead of giving your money to the pharmacy every month and still feeling bad, Use that money to buy some good healthy food. Don't tell me it's too expensive. And you know, I've, I've seen a lot of people say, oh, I can't come to you, Paula, because everything's too expensive. You know, I can't train with you, it's too expensive. I can't buy any of your shakeup because it's expensive. It's not too expensive whenever I see you checking in at McDonald's and you're eating, you know, sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits every morning. And you're getting a large latte or you're going to these shake shops and buy in shake, shakes, two shakes a day, or twice a day, that right there is expensive. What's not expensive is your health. Spend it on your health. I promise you, you will not be sorry. 
I, you know, I am here to help you. I'm not trying to sell you anything in this video. I'm just trying to teach you. Nutrition is 100% gonna be what you need to make your goal as your goal to become healthy. If you wanna feel better, then do it, make it happen. You have that choice and you have that control. So remember, nutrition is the new medicine. Use it to fight against these diseases. Use exercise to fight against a bad back. Yes, it can happen. You can use exercise to rehabilitate your body so that you can function day to day. There are some that are damaged and some that have been through surgeries that'll never be 100%, but exercise and the proper exercise can help them. Then they're not on pain meds all the time and they're able to work more. You know, all of this comes back to your whole entire daily life. If you want to do better in life and you want to be more in your career, you want to be more, a, a, a better, let me put it this way, a better wife and mother, if you want to go further in life, eat right and exercise. Your energy will go through the roof. Your, your finances will be better because you're not spending so much money on medicine and doctor's visits, um, cold and flu season. If you're exercising and eating nutritionally, you're less likely to get colds. You know, so if you're finding that yourself, your, yourself is always sick, that's why. You're not eating enough nutritional foods. Do you take supplements? Do you supplement, you know, by a, a one a day vitamin? It's important. Our bodies need to be taken care of. We need it to be able to deal with our daily stress. We don't need to be thinking about, ooh, if I don't eat this big old banana split, I'm not gonna be happy. It's after you eat that, during it, you feel great, because mm, banana splits are good. When you get done, you don't feel so great. And that stays in your body for a while. So then your body is trying to function on sugar and crappy carbs. So, you know, nutrition is very important. And if you need help with that, you can um, go onto my website, www.coachhoneycut.weebly.com, um, or you can message me. I'm here to help you. Just remember, you have control over what food you put in your mouth, and yes, nutrition is extremely important. It's extremely important. If I could force feed people healthy foods, their whole lives would change, I think. I might not be here because they'd probably kill me when I took their Reese's away, but... I'm not saying you can't have that moderation, but, you know, it's not worth it. You know, life's too short. So, um, and in light of recent things that have happened in the world, you have to, you know, live each day as, it's, as if it is your last. And do you want to feel good during that time? If you want to feel good, eat good. Exercise. You don't have to exercise every day all day long. Just move your body. You know, um, the, like I said, you just don't know from day to day what is going to happen. We're not promised tomorrow. So don't wait till tomorrow. Start now. Start right this minute. It's okay if you've had bad foods all day. Go ahead and pick something healthy for dinner. Get up in the morning and change your routine and eat something healthy for breakfast. Just eat. That's a big thing because a lot of people don't do that. But your body has to have healthy nutrition and exercise to properly run. So if you have questions, let me know. Like I said, I left my information um, in the video and I'll also put it in my comments. That way, if you have questions, you can get with me. Hope you have a great day and I hope this helps someone out there.